Cindy and I are passionate about making YouTube videos and especially filming nature wherever we go. So uh, a couple of days ago we were contacted by uh, the Discovery Channel Canada and the producer of a Daily Planet program that's going to be showing hummingbirds. And they were wondering what would be the possibilities of including some of our footage in their story. And I would say that the possibility is 100%. They sent us all the release forms, everything's been signed, sealed. And on Monday, April 28th in Canada, Daily Planet will have a segment that will include some of our footage of hummingbirds. Now this is not unique. Uh, our videos have appeared in everything from National Geographic to Animal Planet, Much Music, Travel Channel, United States National News. Network News have used our footage as well as so many other organizations. Everything from Boeing Corporation to uh, Japanese television and uh, it's an amazing thing to think that there are so many people out there working for networks and other organization, organizations searching on YouTube for footage and uh, like I said Cindy and I love to film nature uh, this past uh, Easter we got some really nice stuff of bumblebees and you never know where our footage will appear and uh, it's just uh, an amazing time we live in. But I gotta tell you that on a different front, these little hummingbirds are not uh, year-round residents in British Columbia or even all the way up to Yukon and Alaska, they migrate. And when you see what's happening uh, in California with the drought and in Colorado, Arizona, all over. Now that drought has had a big effect on migratory creatures. The uh, butterflies, like the monarchs, have been really impacted. But imagine that these little hummingbirds also migrate from Mexico and the Caribbean up into Canada and all the way into Alaska. And uh, they predominantly feed on nectar of flowers. So you got to imagine what that's going to do uh, when there's a drought and the flowers aren't there. But they also feed on small insects that they catch in flight. And uh, with the drought, even the insect population will be down. So when you think about the drought, you know, first of all, we've got to think about the impact to humans, food production and stuff like this. But then you also got to think about the impact to animals, the living planet. And uh, it's really frightful. Like every year that Cindy and I go down to uh, Christina Lake in the Kootenays and uh, anticipate the arrival of the hummingbirds, I'm always anxious to see will they be back will there be as many of them as they used to be and to be honest i have noticed a slight decline in the past few years uh, in the last five or six years it almost seems like year to year there's a little bit less of them around now they're still plentiful and you can see different species of them but it is i think being impacted and uh, that's not the only thing i mean you know, when they're flying across many of these areas where agriculture is happening and if they happen to get into places where there are pesticides and herbicides and all kinds of different sprays that are being used in agriculture, even those can impact these tiny little birds. So uh, I'm really glad that uh, Daily Planet will be showing the hummingbirds and talking about them. And I hope they get into the fact that uh, all these creatures can face a difficult future as global warming, climate change, and uh, weather impacts uh, our planet. And predominantly, we people have to accept responsibility for this, the use of fossil fuels and pollution. So, you know, they're beautiful. The hummingbirds are only found in the New World, referring to North and South America. There's many species, some are even smaller than these guys. They're the only birds that can hover, fly backwards, forward, up and down. And they fly so fast. I mean, it's sometimes it can be really difficult filming them because I use manual focus on them. So when you get focused on one, they're so erratic and they bounce around that they're in and out of focus. They're moving around the hummingbird feeder, but uh, I love them. I absolutely love filming them. I love watching them. I love seeing the different varieties, species, the colors so vibrant on them. They're like uh, just shiny. It's like metallic. It is absolutely a beautiful creature. And uh, 
I think our planet is better for having these creatures and we're going to do whatever we can to save the hummingbirds, butterflies and ultimately think about it when we save nature, when we save our planet, we're also saving ourselves. Thank you for watching and if you're in Canada, check out Daily Planet on Monday, April 28th. Maybe you'll be able to see our little video clip in it. Thank you.